there. Welcome to Coffee with Coastal Cheryl. I've got mine iced as always. Grab something to drink, you guys. This one's going to be fun. We're just going to do some chatting. Okay, we aren't going to chat. I'm going to chat. You're going to listen. And I'm going to be talking about storage baskets. These are my favorite storage baskets. Most of them are from Amazon, but I have also got some finds from, uh, let's see, the Container Store, Serena and Lily, and the Pottery Barn. Let's get started. Okay, speaking of the Pottery Barn, look at these, you guys. You guys have probably seen these online. Look at these. I mean, aren't these awesome? This is not a set. They're water hyacinth. Each one's lidded, obviously small, medium, and large, but really a nice quality, all wire reinforced, really beautiful, beautiful baskets. I just love the way these look, like sitting in a corner against a wall. I keep them underneath. Actually, I've got a painting over here by my pantry, and I love to just stack these up because I think they look fabulous. But look at the size. This is the small one. I mean, that is a nice size. Look at the large one, really big. Again, these are not hinged lids, but really nice. And they actually stay on. See, they've got like a little nub right there that keeps them on. Really nice basket. And then look at this one, you guys. I mean, look how big that is. I'll show you what I use it for. Look at this. You know, all the plastic bags you get from shopping, I just throw them in here because I don't want to see them. <laughs> And we usually we recycle them or actually I will use this one a lot for wet bathing suits or whatever, you know, toys that we're going to be taking to the beach that are sandy. I just throw them in there. But this is a really great place to hide them. These baskets, again, this is not set. This is the large, medium, and small are perfect for just anywhere that you want to kind of organize and you just want to reduce the clutter in your house. I love them because they do it and they do it in a way that just is very attractive. Love these, again, these are from the Pottery Barn. All right, this next basket, one of my very favorites, look you guys, from Serena and Lily. My husband actually bought this for me for Christmas. And okay, I sent him the link and said, hey honey, buy this for me for Christmas. <laughs> it's still, you know, I still got it for Christmas, but isn't it gorgeous? Look at the quality on this. This is definitely a high-end basket. I mean, fabulous quality. Look at the detail on this. This is not one you're gonna to wanna to put in your closet. I mean, you're gonna to wanna to show this one off in your living room. I love to put uh, blankets in it and then maybe let one dangle out. But I mean, this is a gorgeous, very large basket. If you're looking for, you know, a statement basket, this is it. Absolutely gorgeous, love it. All right, next. I just got this one. Just opened it up, I think yesterday. Literally, look, tag is still on it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. It's from Amazon, but look at the size on that. I love this, and it, it has a wooden handle, all wire reinforced, so it's a nice sturdy basket. Would be perfect any situation where you wanna store something and then you wanna be able to pull it out like at the bottom of a closet. You know, I love this. I don't even know what I'm gonna use it for, but I can't wait to determine that. It'd be great though for, I think, the bottom of the closet to put clothes in that you don't wear very often, or maybe seasonal clothes. So, you know, you could put a little label on the end of it. Really a nice basket. Very, very handy and quite pretty. Isn't that pretty? Love that. All right, next. Okay, this is the biggest basket I have, you guys. Look at that. Is that huge? I mean, seriously, look at that. Look at this. I mean, it's on my kitchen counter, obviously. I'm 5'8", but look how big this is. Look how big around this is. If you're looking for a beautiful, really high quality basket for storing blankets. Do you have a lot of blankets lying around your house? I always do. I throw them in here. I mean, this is absolutely perfect. It is my favorite, very, very favorite blanket or basket for blanket storage because it's so big and so pretty. I love, again, to dangle a little bit of the blanket out, you know, just because I think it looks so cute, but would also be fabulous for storing toys. Like this would be really cute in the corner of a kid's room and fill it full of stuffed animals. I mean, it will hold a lot, very versatile and just a high quality basket. 
All right, look at this. This is a set. Perfect, I think. Look, to the sides. Again, you can pull it out, all wire reinforced, water hyacinth. You do get two to a set. And these are great for, you know, like your pantry. You could put um, uh, any, any pantry items in there. They're great for like coffee bars. You can put your coffee pods, you know, sweeteners, whatever you want in here. I love these. I love the way they look. Also like them um, for decorative purposes. I like to put them like, let's pretend like this is a corner of your kitchen counter. You can put them like this and then put something decorative in the middle. I'm really cute. Just a really nice basket set. Again, these are from Amazon and they come in a set. Love these. Great for coffee pods. I like to order, like I do a lot of Nespresso and like I, you know, I order a bunch of them at a time because it's cheaper and then just fill these up with two different colors. Nice. All right, you guys are going to love this one. Another set. I literally just pulled these out of my pantry so you can tell what I use these for. Look at this. Aren't these cute? Let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and I will take these out just so you guys can see. See? They're each three compartments. And again, wire, in, uh, wire reinforced, water hyacinth. So beautiful little baskets. So again, it organizes but does so beautifully. And I love, you know, those seasoning packets. I just love to have them organized. Like, you know, it's good too for like shopping. I can tell, like this particular meat marinade, I only have one. So I can just walk in my pantry, look over there, see what I need. Taco seasoning, I think I have enough of that for a while. <laughs> but again, this comes in a set of two from Amazon. These are really a nice find, very affordable. All right, next, for your pantry, you guys, I have to say these are my very, very favorite baskets for a pantry. Honey, can you pull up the first pantry photo we have? These are from the container store. You can see them. Actually, you can see them on the left side there on the shelves. And then you can see them on the floor. The uh, shelves have got one, two, three, well, it looks like 12 baskets. That's this size right here. That is the small. And again, um, my shelf there is fairly narrow, so I wanted to make sure I had something. So, you know, measure ahead of time, obviously. But I love the way these look. They do have handles. So if you want them, you know, put them on a shelf and pull, they work great for that. But I love the clean, clean looks. These are my favorite baskets for a pantry. I keep all of my canned goods in there because I can look in there and all I see are beautiful baskets. No, you red cans, green cans, yellow cans. <laughs> and I can organize again. If I look in here and this is empty and it usually has canned tomatoes, I know, okay, I got to order, you know, canned tomatoes. Time to get to the grocery store. But I love these. The quality is there. Again, in my particular situation, I used um, 12 of the smalls. And then if you see right there on the floor, I actually bought four of the large size. So I like those for like soda, I like them for bottled water. Again, instead of having all that stuff clutter up your pantry floor, you can just tuck it into a basket and that's really nice. So again, for my particular case, to recreate this look, it's 12 smalls and four larges. Again, these are from the container store. I love them. Now another item I love to use in the pantry, go ahead and pull up the next pantry shot. These are more affordable, I will tell you. These are from Amazon. See over there? Again, on the left side, this is a set of five. If you get you get all of these baskets right here, you get um, two smallers, two mediums, and one large. And I, again, like I did before, I put the large ones on the floor and I put bottled water, anything large, I put in those. And then those I use right on the shelf. But really a nice, nice set. Again, a set of five, so they're very affordable. Thank you, honey. And let me show you again. So you have these sizes. And when I first got it, because this is the smallest, I mean, look at the, the large one, it's really big. I thought, are these gonna hold canned goods? But they definitely do. Like you can put in like Campbell's tomato soup, and then you could put you know, like two, even three layers if you want to on here. And it just is so much tidier than, you know, having all those cans on the pantry shelves. I love this set. I also use this in my bathroom. Actually, I'm what I'm going to do is, uh, if you just saw the previous pantry shot, 
I had some um, labels, pantry labels. I will also include those in the link so you can see exactly the labels I found. Now I'm going to show you a shot in the bathroom with these same baskets. Oh, where did I put that white? container oh there it is um, I'm going to show you how I combined these with some plastic containers to organize my bathroom can you go ahead and pull up the bathroom there we go same exact baskets now in this case this is two sets of those baskets and again you can see the two uh, larges up at the very very top actually see right there that is one of them right there I literally took these baskets and dumped all this stuff on my bathroom floor. You should see my bathroom right now. <laughs> anyway, so that way you can see the size, but there's, so that's two sets that will give you, again, each set has five baskets total. And I also used, go ahead and drop, well, see, see those plastic containers? All right, go ahead and drop that, honey. I will link these also. It, it, technically, this is not a storage basket, but you know, I knew you'd want to see them. The, this is, uh, you get, I think, 10 in one set, and it's this size. They come in a variety of sizes, so check them out at the link. But this, when you follow my link, it will show you this size. And I will also include these labels. Again, these are from Talented Kitchen. I love these labels. They have a clear back, and then you can put them on the plastic ones just like this, and you can easily identify but on, I know, also wanted them on my basket. I thought, well, that's not going to work because they're clear. Let me tell you a little trick. All you have to do is take the label and cut it out, leave the backing on. That's what I did. I just cut this label completely out, left the backing on, and then I put, I put a little piece of duct tape, I rolled it up, stuck it on the back, and then pushed that on the basket. And it's been there for a long time. I mean, it holds. It's just a nice piece of duct tape. You can't beat that duct tape, but isn't that awesome? So again, these are really versatile. You could use them in closets too, but I love, again, that they're a set of five and quite affordable. So this is another nice option for organization. All right, this next set is so pretty. Uh, I hate to even call it a storage basket. It is a storage basket, but it is obviously decorative. I mean, how gorgeous are these? These are cane and rattan, and then they have glass lids. I mean, seriously. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? I love these. I have no idea what I'm going to put in them. I'm leaning toward maybe seashells that my grandkids want. We live in Florida, and whenever the grandkids come to visit, it seems like we always end up at the sea, the um, at the ocean, and seashells always come home. So I think I might put some of their favorite finds in there, and I don't know about the big one yet. But look at this, both the same. This is a set on hinged lid. I mean, are these gorgeous? I mean, seriously, I love way these look on an accent cabinet or like if you have a console in your entry these would look beautiful on a console table absolutely gorgeous and obviously coastal little even a hint of tropic but i think they would look beautiful in any home just because it's just a gorgeous gorgeous piece and obviously a great way to share your collectibles aren't they pretty so pretty all right next look at this cutie Lidded. I love this because any kind of thing that you really don't need to, you know, you don't want out, but you need frequently. All right, I'll go ahead and tell you what mine has in it. I, about, I don't know, a month or so ago, I got Invisalign because I've got, I have crooked teeth. And um, actually, I'm so excited about the Invisalign, but that's another story. <laughs> Anyway, for the Invisaligns, uh, the lady who helped me at the dentist uh, office, she said, don't buy the expensive cleaner. You can just get like denture cleaner because the Invisaligns, I don't have them in right now, but they're just plastic. You pull them out and then you just pop them in like a, a little, you know, container and you drop in a tablet of denture cleaner <laughs> to clean your Invisaligns. So that's what I keep in mind. <laughs> I know it seems funny, but you know, hey, for those of you who have dentures, this is handy. <laughs> but anything that you really just don't want out, you know, like, uh, you know, like vitamins that you, your daily vitamins that you take every day, 
you want them handy, but you don't want to really have them on the counter. I don't like clutter on the counter. This is just a, such a good solution for that. Really cute. I love it. And again, if you have Invisalign's, <laughs> yeah, she said, don't buy the expensive cleaner. Just, you know, any kind of denture cleaner works. So that's what I use mine for. All right, next, look at this little set. This is a set of three and it's small, medium, and large. And I actually love these. I mean, these are just very simple, but my husband has always got stuff on his side of the bathroom counter, right? So I wanted a small basket that I could give him and then he could put the stuff in. It's not, you know, he could easily access it, but it's not a mess. So he puts like vitamins in here, vitamin bottles, and then just, that's it. That's all I see in my bathroom counter. I love that. At one point, all three of them were over on his side. And then this morning, I just went to go retrieve them. And I realized two of them are now on my side. This one had like some makeup wipes in it. And this one actually just had some spare change I had thrown in there. But I love these. It's just a really cute, affordable set. Again, great for just hiding a little bit of clutter. Love that. All right, look at this next little set. This is great, obviously, for fruit or anything you want to put on your kitchen counter, your pantry. It's just a nice little affordable set of three, three sizes. And if you click on the link, you will see this also comes with an option to have the black top, which is really cute. These are just lightweight, simple baskets, but really nice. Again, if you want to put them, I, I like them for uh, you know putting fresh fruit out on the counter. Really cute, but just a nice way to organize that you know it's not real expensive and really easy to do. All right, this one is cute. Let me show you this one first. Okay, this one isn't that cute, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's a waste basket, right? This is a waste basket, and I have I think seven of these. I literally use one in my master bath as a waste basket, and all of the others. All of my large plants, I have several like large artificial plants like bamboo and you know, fiddly figs. And I put them in here because they all come in the ugly little black plastic pot. You know what I'm talking about. You just drop them in here and it's a whole new vibe and it looks like it was supposed to be in there. And then here's a little trick. If you want to get a little more height out of your plant, fill this up with about six inches of rocks. I just get it at a big box store anywhere where you can grab rocks. Just fill it up with rocks, put your plant back in, and then finish filling it with rocks so it looks like the plant is just coming out of the rocks. And then that just added about six inches of height to your plant. This is also good in a situation where we have uh, covered lanai and I like to put plants out there, but sometimes it gets windy and I look and you know the plants are laying on their side for the really tall ones. But if you fill this with rocks, then they won't do that. So this is just, I love this. I mean, this is so convenient, again, as a trash can, but more than that, just for a little, little plant, little, little, little hide, a little ugly plastic plant pot that they come in. <laughs> All right, next, look at this. Again, water hyacinth, again, wire reinforced. I mean, every basket on here is really a great find. This one's very affordable. I love the detail in this, look how the weave goes upward here. Again, this is an Amazon find. Really a nice size basket, not too big, but easily could hold a couple of blankets or more, a couple of pillows. So cute. I mean, there's nothing better, I think, than storage that is cute. And that's what all of these finds are. Again, really a nice one. Love this basket. All right, next. And you will find all of these in the order that they were shown right down below, obviously. Now look at this. One of my very, very favorites. Absolutely love this. This is a obviously like a gathering basket. I mean, you can use this on your coffee table, on your kitchen counter, you know, put whatever you want. It's just going to look so, so gorgeous. I think it's fabulous for going out and gathering you know, your fresh tomatoes if you have a garden or go out and cut some flowers from the yard and bring them in. But one of my very, very favorite baskets and the quality on this one, you guys, it is high. I mean, this is a beautiful basket. I mean, put it on your coffee table, put it on your kitchen counter so everyone can enjoy it. Everyone's gonna ask you, where did you get that basket? I love this gathering basket, so pretty. 
Okay, here is another. Well, let's see. Where can I? I don't want to drop, knock over my coffee here. Here is another cutie. This is actually a laundry basket, you guys, but it's so cute that I took the liner out. Again, look how big this is. This would look adorable, obviously, in your laundry room. It comes with a liner that's removable. As soon as I saw how cute it was, it's like, okay, I'm not even gonna use this as a laundry hamper. This is too cute. But again, it comes with a removable liner. You know, you can just, you know, use that for laundry and then take it out, wash it really easy. But look how, look at the quality on this. Isn't this pretty? I, I love this. Perfect, again, for storing blankets, toys, whatever you want. You can use it for a hamper. I mean, just sitting on top of your washer, your, your washer, sitting on your washer in your laundry room, <laughs> but just sitting on top of your washer in your laundry room, I mean, you're just upping your laundry game. This looks so cute. I love this basket. Again, quite sturdy and comes with the liner. But I just can't bring myself to actually cover that up. So pretty. All right, I am moving along through these baskets today. All right, oh, next. Look at this. I love this one because I love the shape. Look, it has a square bottom and then a round top, which gives it this shape, which I just find so interesting. It has handles, it's quite sturdy. Again, a wire enforced basket, really a nice size, but I love this to tuck into a corner. I mean, again, because the squared bottom, it's easily, you can tuck it into a corner but such a cute basket. I love this one. Again, this one is also from Amazon. All right, next. Look at this little set. Honey Can Do is the name of the uh, brand of this one. This is, again, a great one for pantry storage or for closet storage. They all have handles. But like when I use them in my pantry, I always like to do that because I just like the, the clean look of, you know, nothing there. But again, if you're using them in a closet, go ahead and turn it so you can, you know, pull that out and use it. But lovely, again, water hyacinth. All of these are framed with wire, wrapped wire on the bottom also. Very nice and sturdy. These are a great find, a really good price. I have to take a sip of coffee before I lose my voice. I try to be mindful of your time on these, so I just kind of move along, but it's like by the end of them, I'm ready to lose my voice. All right, next. Here we go. Last but not least. Look at this. I love these. This is, if you're looking for a really nice, high quality set of baskets, this is a set, both the same size. Love these. Uh, I first bought these for, I had an accent cabinet that had glass doors and I wanted to be able to, you know, put the baskets in and I wanted the baskets to be gorgeous inside and I also wanted them to be sturdy so I could actually use them, you know, for drawers. Perfect. This is, these are perfect if you're looking for something to use for drawers or storage. Again, there's not only wire on the top on these, but also on the bottom. So these, these handles are really sturdy. Just a beautiful set of baskets. Look at the weave on those. I mean, aren't those pretty? Again, this is a set of two, same size. And I will, I will describe those as such in the links below. I hope you enjoyed this look into storage baskets. I do coastal decor, I do farmhouse, I do neutral. I do a lot of stuff on Q organization. So be sure to check out my other videos. You know, give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and we will hang out next time. So go out and have a fabulous day. Honestly, you know, I have so much fun doing this. It is an honor to help you make your house a home and I will see you next time.